Good day everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. What I have today is how to make a princess dart gown. It's a very simple one. All you need to do is to subscribe, I mean to watch my video to the end if you have subscribed before. And if this is your first time you watch my tutorial, you are highly welcome to this great channel, Toastband Fashion Channel. A channel where you can have access to sewing and cutting easily. A channel where you can feel free to ask questions by dropping your question in the comment section and it will be attended to on time. A channel where you can learn more on sewing and cutting. All you need to do is to subscribe to my channel, you like my videos and share my videos as well. Thank you very much. Now what I have, like I said, is a princess dart gown. Now I have the length from the shoulder to the new line, I have it 38 inches. But the total length of this gown is 48 inches. Now, from the shoulder line to the new line, which is 38, I'm going to deduct 3 inches from it. So, I will be having 38 minus 3 gives me 35. So, I shall be working on 35 inches as the length first. Now, I have the bust to be 38 inches, the under bust 32 inches, the waist 33 inches, the hip 41 inches. But I will be working on the biggest part of the body, which is the uh, hip circumference 41 inches. Now 41 inches divided by 4, I have 10.5, approximately 10.5 inches. Now that 10.5 inches, I shall be adding extra 3 inches. Now. 10.5 inches plus 3 inches, I have 13.5 inches. Now, as you can see on my fabric here, it's on fold already. Now, I'll be working with the front panel um, first. The reason is because this particular fabric is a patterned one, and I will not want to obstruct the pattern on this fabric. So, that's just the essence why I shall be working on the front panel first. So, like I said, I have 13.5 inches, but here is 14 inches, so I'm okay with that. So to start right now, I shall be cutting out the total of 36 inches as the length, but not the total length, 36 inches. So, I have my 36 inches here, right from the shoulder. 36 inches. So, the next thing is to connect these lines together. line is where I will be measuring my shoulder line and length. This line is for the bust circumference. Why this line is for the breast point line. This line is under bust line. Why this one is for the waist. This is the waist line. Why this is the hip line. So right now, we are going to start immediately. The shoulder is 16 inches, and 16 inches divided by 2 gives me 8 inches. I have my 8 inches right here. Now, to get the length of the hammer, what you have here, 8 inches here, that is half of the shoulder line, plus one, we give you the length of the hammer, the hammer length. So, which means eight plus one, I have the total of nine inches. So, I'm going to make a straight line to connect this.
Now, the next thing I shall be doing is to measure from this edge here, I will be measuring 4 inches inward. So I have my 4 inches here. I measure 4 inches down to the edge at the base. Please, if you have any question regarding this um, tutorial at the end, please send me your question. Drop it in the comment section so that I can, so that I will have access to it and answer the question. So, I'm going to connect these lines. So, having connected this line, I'm going to start. Right now, I'm going to, let me quickly go to the neckline. I have the neckline, the width 3 inches, the depth 5 inches. Then I connect to this piece. Connect this line here. So, right here, right, this is the um, under bust line. I'm going to mark 1.5 inches here. And I mark 1.5 inches here. Then on the waist, I'm going to mark 1 inch, both on the left hand side and the right hand side. So, I'm going to take my ruler I connect leaving like about one inch below so that's where I'll be connecting. Then on the waist side, I will also connect. As you can see, 
I left about like about three inches. It's less than three inches I left before it gets to the to the hip line. So right now. to start the measurement on the bust the bust is 38 inches and 38 inches divided by 4 I have 9.5 inches so I'm going to mark my 9.5 inches right here it's here plus 1 inch as my seam allowance So, I will just go straight to this underboss line. The underboss is 32 inches. And 32 inches divided by 4 gives me 8 inches. I'm going to mark 8 inches. I have my 8 inches here. Now, plus this space. Here I have 3 inches. I'm going to include my 3 inches. I have it here. Then plus 1 inch for the joining. This is 1 inch for the joining. Then 1 inch for the seam allowance. So the same thing is applicable here, sorry. One inch for the joining. Now, coming to the waistline, I'm going to measure. The waist is 33 inches. So it's less than 8.5 inches. It's less than 8.5 inches. I have it here. Then, the space I have here, I will have to return it 2 inches. 2 inches. Then, plus 1 inch for the joining. And 1 inch for the seam allowance. Then, coming to the heap. The hip is 41 inches. So I have a, approximately 10.5 inches. So I'm going to mark my 10.5 inches plus 1 inch for my joining and 1 inch for my allowance. So what I have on the hip line is what I shall be transferring here. But if you want it to be pencil at the almost to the new line, so you can just reduce. I have the total of what here on the on the on the on the hip circumference. I have 13 inches. If you want yours to be pencil on the new line, you can just subtract one out of this 13, you mark 12. But if you want it straight like that. You just put exactly what is on the hip, hip circumference on heat. But I want it pencil. So instead of 13 inches, I will be marking 12 inches right here. So both the joining and everything has been taken care of here. So the next thing right now is to go back to my hammer. And make a curve. I'm going to measure, but before I go to that, I will quickly make my shoulder slope of less than one inch. I have it here. So I'm going to connect this to this um, to this neckline. Now, having connected, then I measure what I have left. I have approximately 8 inches.
but I'm going to mark from here 4.5 inches so from there I can make my curve I will make my curve also from there from that 4.5 which I've just marked this is my 4.5 then I'm going to make a straight line to connect to this after which I'm I'll now make a slight curve So, I make a slight curve. So, right now, I'm going to mark 0 0.5 inward or less than one inch so i'm going to connect these lines remember this is the front panel so this one is very necessary then i make another call inward So right now, I will also I will now connect these lines together. So you won't expect a straight line. So that is it. Right now, I'm going to cut. But before I do that, I'm going to pop the neckline. So we are good to go. Just watch what I'm doing right now.
if you can see the way I'm cutting it. Can you see I added one inch here I extended this place by one inch so that was what I forgot to tell you so coming to this place I will remove this I'm going to remove this excess So the next thing right now is to also remove this. Right now, I'm going to cut the back panel. Here is the back piece. I've ruled my line. Each line represents particular um, measurement. Now, this one, this is my shoulder line. Then, this is the line, the ammo line. Then I have this one to be the bust line. Then this one is the waist line. Why this is the hip line? So that is that. Now, if you remember the the, the shoulder line, I say it's 16 inches divided by two gives me eight. But you, if you look at this one, I have nine inches here instead of eight. The reason why it's 9 inches is because I've added 1 inch for the zipper allowance. So that is why I'm having the total of 9 inches here for this back piece. So right now, we are going to commence our measurement. Now, for the shoulder line, the shoulder line is 3 inches. But because of the zipper allowance of 1 inch, so I shall be marking 4 inches on the shoulder line. I have my four inches here. Now the depth, I'm going to mark 
2 inches for the depth. So I have 2 inches here. I also have 2 inches here. Then I connect this line. I also connect this. So, coming to the slope, the shoulder slope is less than one inch. I have it here. So, I'm going to connect right away to the neckline. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So, having connected, the next thing I shall be doing right now is to mark 4 inches inward. Four inches inward. The reason why I've not added an inch for the zipper allowance, I don't want it to budge after at the end of everything. So I will still maintain the four inches which I did on the front panel. So I have my four inches here. So I'm going to measure these four inches down to the new line or to the base of this fabric. So four inches all to this base so the next thing is to connect these straight lines together Now, having connected this line together, I'm going to work on the on the waistline. I shall be marking one inch both on the left and the right side. One inch, then another one inch, then I'm going to connect. So, we also come and connect Can you see? You will discover that the space here is not up to the uh, hip circumference line. So, the next thing is to measure. Now, I said the bust is 38 inches and 38 inches divided by 4 gives us 9.5 inches. So, 9.5 inches, remember the zipper allowance, 9.5 inches plus 1. I have 10.5 inches, so I shall be measuring 10.5 inches here, plus 1 inch for the joining, then plus 1 inch for the seam allowance, have it here. Then coming to the waist, I'm going to measure 10.5 inches. I have it here. So my fabric is short. So 
so i'm supposed my fabric is short so what i'm going to do right now is to make just is to adjust this so instead of this to be one inch to the right and to the left i will make it less than one inch so that i'll be able to so that i'll be able to return it back so instead of marking two inches let me quickly mark 1.5 inches then plus the joining then the rest for the seam allowance so coming to this to the hip line the hip is 41 inches and 41 inches divided by 4 gives me 10.5 inches i have it here plus one inch for the joining then plus one inch for the seam allowance so it means since the seam allowance of this one is not up to one inch, it's me, it means justice must be made. And we have to make it exactly what I have the air, which is less than one. This one will be also be reduced to less than one for the seam allowance, also to the base. So I will have my seam allowance here less than one. Then my seam allowance here less than one. Then coming to the base. I have the total of 12.5 inches so minus one so i will be measuring 11.5 inches okay so right now i'm going to connect i connect these lines I'm having connected I come to the ammo and make my curve so I'm going to mark from here four inches from there I'm going to make a curve now from that point then I make a line to connect this. So I'm going to extend this place by one inch. So I make the curve here. So right now we are through. All we need to do is to cut. I'm going to cut it out. This is the neckline curve. 